so often uh, the, the funeral was seen as being London-centric. Churchill was a national figure, he wasn't a regional figure. Uh, we've brought it to the north, we've brought it to our museum. We managed to bring together the locomotive, baggage car and one of the carriages from the state funeral train. Of course, Winston Churchill, the locomotive, is part of the national collection, whereas the baggage car ended up in America and so did the Pullman car. Both of those were repatriated in the last decade. Friends then raised money uh, to actually get these restored to the magnificent condition they're in now. And we've got the fireman on the day the train ran from Waterloo here today, Jim Lester. So we've got an ability to actually connect one of our large lumpy objects to a human story that everybody can relate to. I was possibly one of the youngest people to be actually have an active role in, in that funeral. And uh, my driver, after we had been told of, of our selection, uh, he said, this is a big job, this, coming up. All I want you to do, come to work on the Saturday and do exactly what you do when we're working any other passenger train. We had to keep the engine quiet, so it was a small but adequate fire that I set. And um, so that she could stand at Waterloo, nice and quiet, wasn't going to come round to 250 pounds per square inch and start blowing off. Or, or even smoke, that was the other consideration. We were underneath the station, you know. So that all had to be accounted for. I was 17 in 1965. Um, my dad and I watched the funeral on the television and then walked down to the railway line waiting for the funeral train to come through. The people were absolutely silent in reverence for the great man making his last journey. When we got the engine, the cab had virtually no paint in it, half the bits were missing. The thing is, it's, it's a fantastic achievement for two 20-year-olds to have said, we've worked on Winston Churchill, and it's a privilege to see it sit here at the National Railway Museum, and our work will always be in here for the next 20, 30 years. It's fitting that, uh, that we see the locomotive as it is. We have a great history, railway history, and, um, and this was part of that railway history.